And joining us now from the Zoom room and joining our newscast live is Dr. Hoa Wynn, the chairperson of the Physicians Advisory Group. Good morning, Dr. Hoa, and thank you so much for joining us. Good morning, guys. I'm uh, kind of late there. Oh, no, it's, it's fine. You know, we've seen these surge in cases over the past several days, uh, 23, 29, 30, uh, 29 again just yesterday. Uh, how concerned should we be about these surge of cases? You know, we've been tracking this thing for the past week or so, and we should be very much concerned on um, on the positive rate in, in Guam. You know, uh, what we see is mostly in the family unit that, you know, um, that one parent's positive and it just spread throughout uh, the family. You know, so um, I, I try to encourage that, you know, even if you're fully vaccinated and you wear, uh, you do not wear any mask around a positive person, uh, you will also will pick up the virus also. You know, you, you will not be as sick as the unvaccinated person, but you will catch the virus. You know, it's, it's pretty contagious. And, um, you know, so people that, that um, for the people that are fully vaccinated, you really have to, around people that you do not know, uh, please wear your mask in public place. Um, um, right now, the gathering, um, I tell you, um, you have to wear your mask if it's indoor, um, no, um, and if um, outdoor, if you don't know the person, uh, still use your mask. For unvaccinated um, person, I tell you, uh, what we see in the clinic setting, every positive person, uh, unvaccinated person, uh, they people gotta go in there and and, and get vac, you know, get your your vaccine somehow. Um, but I, I tell you that um, you will help to control the virus in Guam if you get yourself vaccinated. Uh, and we all need you to do that. So, uh, yes, and we have to be careful, Bree, because what we see this 20, 30 positive, it will reflect on the hospitalization um, by next week uh, or in about uh, two weeks from now. Uh, so, you, I would expect that the hospitalization will increase um, in the in the by next week and and you say that because the majority of the people that are popping positive are unvaccinated individuals yes and you know the symptom only get worse on the second week spring you know well you get a little mm -hmm. sick and then about the seven to ten days or so that's about the seven days that's when your symptom gonna hit you so uh, we just expect for the worst um, that probably next week you probably see more people in the hospital. And, and you mentioned that y you mentioned that um, the people that you've been seeing uh, coming into your clinic uh, that have been testing positive are our families, right? What about are you seeing an increase in children that are testing positive? Yes, yeah, so if you see the parents that is um, that pop positive uh, in the test and the children are 12 and under they cannot get vaccinated they will get sick uh, and that's what we see the children own sick is under 12. Wow. so you know we really ask the parents if you know i don't know if you have the question of the vaccine talk to your physician talk to your provider get the facts straight, get the vaccine for yourself and to protect your family. You know, if people have children less than 12, you gotta protect them. You cannot afford even lose one children because of the virus. So I really ask people to go out there and, 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 and be responsible and, and be your parents and, and get yourself vaccine. You know, the vaccinated um, at any clinic, you know, so, um, we all have to do our part, you know, as we lift all the restriction, um, you know, we expect some positive to go up, but uh, as a trend the past some week or so, this is much more than we we would expect it. So um, I would say 80% um, herd immunity is not like it's over. We really have to continue to use our masks around other people. 
uh, and um, to kind of curb this um, this virus here. It's not anything about uh, what come into the island. Uh, it's about our, our people here. We need to be, don't let our guard down. And um, and we, no, don't want another surge uh, in the next week or two. Uh, Doc, I know you talked about the unvaccinated uh, popping positive, but we did get the um, breakdown of uh, the cases, the 30 positives from us uh, from what? Wednesday. Yeah, the day before. Yeah, uh, I don't know. We got it late. Uh, but the vac status for the 30 positives on Wednesday: 10 fully vaccinated, one partially yes. vaccinated, eight unvaccinated, eight unknown status because of uh, DOD. And that's something I wanted to ask you about. Uh, we'll, we'll just start there. So you're saying that a lot of the positives are unvaccinated, but the data shows here, at least um, when we had the 30 cases, that a third of those were fully vaccinated individuals. Yes, you know, that's what, uh, Chris, I was uh, telling you guys that, you know, the fully vaccinated people, if you're exposed to an, uh, a virus long enough because you don't wear your mask, you will pick up the virus. Remember, the the, the, the sole purpose of vi- the, the vaccine is try to prevent you from getting the virus. That's number one. And number two is that if you catch the virus, you will not be as sick as you you, know, you do not have the vaccine. You don't know it will decrease your risk of hospitalization, the risk of death. But it doesn't mean that if I, I'm fully vaccinated, I can go around with no mask on and and I don't care. No, that that's so that, that's the one that we really need to educate the public is that I know you're fully vaccinated, but you still need to wear your mask around people that, that you do not know um, and around gathering. You know, if it's indoor and you don't know people, use your mask, I tell you, because um, you will catch the virus still. Uh, but, but Chris, that's what that's why I say that you will you will turn positive, you're fully vaccinated, but you're not as sick. Yeah. But if you happen to care the Delta variant, the variants, you will pass that along to the next person. I know that uh, you follow the link and you're well aware that there were 12 U.S. Army personnel that were pulled off uh, the USN Fisher and are currently in the Gov Guam isolation facility. Uh, and then over the weekend, we had seen, I want to say, about 40 or 50 positives on the military side. So is the PAG, are you guys monitoring uh, the volatility of that situation, given that we've got, you know, uh, thousands of military personnel here for multiple training exercises? Yeah, but um, Chris, as long as they they really are not working along with our counterpart in the civilian side, and as long as they stay on base, uh, then they be okay. They, you know, they not involving anyone off base, but if they frequent the uh, facility off base, like the restaurant, you know, the hotel, all that kind of stuff, then yes, we will have problem in the community um, regarding you know um, the spread of the virus here. So, um, you know, um, so we have little detail on, on um, inside the fence, but I know that um, they have um, reinstated the, uh, the mandate for the mask on base and also have some restriction of movement for the temporary uh, people that come into the island for the exercise. So that will help a lot in curbing the the virus that infection in the community. So, um, but I say any action we take right now, you won't see it until about you know, a week to two weeks from now. So uh, we were hoping that if everyone is aware of the situation, use your mask, um, we would curb this thing and not let it get our hand in the next week or two weeks. All right, thank you so much, Dr. Du- Dr. You're Wynn. welcome. Yeah, but Sabrina, Chris, I hope you won't go on to please use your mask. And uh, I would ask the, the fully vaccinated people that if you have any cough and cold symptom, go get yourself tested. And just because, you know, fully vaccinated doesn't mean that you you won't get the virus. You still pass it on to some people, but you won't feel so sick. So get yourself tested so you can protect the people around you, okay? Okay, thank you so much. Stay safe, Doc. Thank you, guys. Okay, bye-bye. Bye.
And we're going to continue uh, with our newscasts and head right back into the Zoom room. Uh, and joining us now, we have Senator uh, James Moylan. Good morning, Senator. 